let us discuss the definite integral. Definite integral is the process of finding the area of a plane region by taking the limit of a sum, denoted by the integral of a positive function from a to b, which is equal to the antiderivative of b minus the antiderivative of a, where a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. Let's have the first example. The integral of x from 0 to 5. So to evaluate the given, we must first get the antiderivative of x. And so we have the integral of x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 from 0 to 5, which is equal to x squared over 2 from 0 to 5. Then we replace x by 5 and 0. And so we have 5 squared over 2 minus 0 squared over 2, which is equal to 25 over 2 minus 0. Then 25 over 2 minus 0 is 25 over 2 or 12.5. Let's have the second example. The integral of 3x from 1 to 6. So again, we must first get the antiderivative of 3x. And so we have 3 times the integral of x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 from 1 to 6, which is equal to 3 times x squared over 2 from 1 to 6. Then we replace x by 6 and 1. And so we have 3 times 6 squared over 2 minus 1 squared over 2. 6 squared is 36 and 1 squared is 1. So we have 3 times 36 over 2 minus 1 over 2 or 1 half. Then 36 over 2 minus 1 half is 35 over 2. So we have 3 times 35 over 2. Then 3 times 35 is 105. So we have 105 over 2 or 52.5. Let's have the third example. The integral of 5x squared from 2 to 4. So let us get first the antiderivative of 5x squared. And so we have 5 times the integral of x raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 from 2 to 4, which is equal to 5 times x cubed over 3 from 2 to 4. Then we replace x by 4 and 2. And so we have 5 times 4 cubed over 3 minus 2 cubed over 3. 4 cubed is 64 and 2 cubed is 8. And so we have 5 times 64 over 3 minus 8 over 3. Then, subtract 8 over 3 from 64 over 3, we have 56 over 3. So, we have 5 times 56 over 3. Then, 5 times 56 is 280. And so, we have 280 over 3 or 93.33. Let's have the fourth example. The integral of 4x plus 5 from 3 to 5. So we have to get first the antiderivative of 4x plus 5. And so we have the integral of 4x from 3 to 5 plus the integral of 5x raised to 0 from 3 to 5. So we have 4 times x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 from 3 to 5 plus 5 times x raised to 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1 from 3 to 5 which is equal to 4 times x squared over 2 from 3 to 5 plus 5 times x to the first power over 1 from 3 to 5 and x to the first over 1 is simply 
x and therefore we have 4 times x squared over 2 from 3 to 5 plus 5 times x from 3 to 5. Then replace x by 5 and 3. And so we have 4 times 5 squared over 2 minus 3 squared over 2 plus 5 times 5 minus 5 times 3. So we have 4 times 25 over 2 minus 9 over 2 plus 25 minus 15. Then 25 over 2 minus 9 over 2 is 16 over 2. Then 25 minus 15 is 10. And so we have 4 times 16 over 2 plus 10. Then 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we have 4 times 8 plus 10. Then 4 times 8 is 32 plus 10. 32 plus 10 is 42.